Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy. Today I'm going to be going over what all of you have been waiting to see, and that is the Galaxy S3. So, without further ado, here it is. The Samsung Galaxy S3 comes in pebble blue and marble white. Both colors that really stand out and are very distinguishable from other phones. It has a 4.8 HD Super AMOLED screen. One of the best in the business, um, and it continues to make Samsung the basically dominating force in screens. Now, what also makes this so good is that the bezel around the cam around the screen is extremely thin. If you've ever seen phones like the Galaxy Nexus, they have an extremely thin bezel, so the phone is actually about the same size as a 4.3 inch screen phone without having a smaller screen which is expected of this one of course. So you'll have a 4.8 inch screen with a huge screen size without having such a big phone. So definitely something to look forward to. How thin is it? Well it's 8.6 millimeters making it thinner than the HTC One X, than the iPhone 4S, than the Lumia 900, and the Galaxy Nexus. It has a 2100 milliamp battery, which is uh, larger than most batteries around the world right now, so it's expected to have a much longer battery life compared to other competitors. I'll go more into the camera later, but it has a 8 megapixel camera with backlit technology and zero shutter lag. There will be two versions coming in 3G and 4G LTE. The sizes are going to be 16 gigabyte, 32 gigabyte, and 64 gigabyte models plus micro SD. This is unprecedented because no other phone has uh, these sizes as well as the expandable uh, SD card slot. So it's really exciting. It's also supposed to have the best sound quality out of any phone with a built-in in-call sound equalization. Along with that you also have a Bluetooth 4.0 so you're able to actually have a better Bluetooth connection with better battery life. Now what are the features of this phone? Well let's start off with the first one. Direct call. Direct call is a pretty innovative technology that allows you to text someone back and forth and once you're well this is done uh, this is done I'm gonna just call them. You actually just bring the phone up to your ear and it will directly call them. You don't need a send call, you don't need to do anything else, it just knows that you're, you've been texting this person and now you want to call them. So it's a really cool feature which is part of Samsung's natural campaign to make the phone seem more natural to you. Now this next one is pretty innovative. Uh, a few people I've talked to have been a bit weirded out by it but keep in, just keep this, keep an open mind. Now it's called Smart Stay. Smart Stay leaves the screen on when your eyes are looking at it and when you look away it'll actually turn the screen off. Keep in mind, if you look back at the screen, it'll turn it back on. Now, what's really innovative about this is it actually saves your battery life dramatically when you're not looking at the screen. And when you're looking at the screen, it won't dim on you, it won't turn off, so you won't have to worry about when you're reading an article, your phone just turning off on you, which is really nice. Um, so I definitely like it, and I love that it's going to save my battery life when I'm not looking at my phone. But yet, when I look back at it, it'll be like it was always on. So it's pretty innovative, definitely. Next one is going to be S-Voice. S-Voice is really innovative. It actually blends in the best of Android voice commands along with the best of Siri type technology. So S-Voice takes a personalization uh, to the next level. You have wake-up commands. So you can say, hey Galaxy, hey buddy, hey phone, and five other choices. Basically, you can actually wake up the phone how you want to, and it'll be and it'll say, "What do you want me to do?" Now, from here, you can ask it questions, set appointments, do all that kind of stuff that uh, a Siri type of a device can do. However, it goes one step further, and it can do things that Siri can't, like launch apps. So you can say, "Launch Pandora," "Launch Music," and it'll do it automatically which is uh, something that only Android can do right now and it's bringing the best of both worlds into one device called S-Voice. 
The next item is called Smart Alert. Basically gives you a summary of all the things you've missed while you were away from your phone. So you had three missed calls from this person. You had uh, two text messages from this person. Just summarization, pretty cool, gets to the point. Other thing is called lock screen. Uh, the lock screen is actually has information on it now, so you can actually see your text messages without needing to unlock it first. Uh, how it looked uh, to the se seem to be like was kind of like when you see a stock exchange uh, bar scrolling. It's the same way you get to actually see your text message that way. Now, of course, you can take this uh, feature off, but it's pretty cool if you, of course, don't have anything to hide. <laughs> now. One of my favorites is definitely pop-up play. Pop-up play brings uh, true innovation, actually. Uh, it allows you to have a screen of a video. You're watching your video, and say you get a text message. You can actually make your video a smaller size and put it anywhere on the screen, and then continue on with your text message, or browse the web, or set a calendar appointment. Whatever you want to do on your phone, and your video can still play. This is true multitasking technology, so it's definitely better than anything else out there. Nothing can do what this can right now in terms of having a video be playing while you're doing something else, and to this extent. It's just better than anything that's been out. Now you have things like S-Beam, which just allows you to put your phone to another phone and then send items, such as pictures, music, videos, apps you know, contact information. Now, this is using NFC technology, which is pretty cool. There's been uh, third-party apps made for, like, Facebook. So, say you can actually friend request someone through touching your phone. So, if you meet someone at a club, you know, you had a good time, you can touch your phones together and uh, do a request just that easy. So, definitely innovative technology. And you can only get this with Android devices that have NFC. You also have All Share Play, which just allows you, you know, to share files between uh, all of your Samsung products. So you can share documents, multimedia files, anything like that. And you have All Share Cast, which allows you to mirror um, whatever you're doing on your phone, or just send it photos, videos, things like that. So it's pretty cool. Now, what you can also do is something called Group Cast. Group Cast is pretty cool simply because uh, it's good for presentations. If you and, say, five other friends or five other board members wanted to all look at one device, you can actually uh, broadcast your phone and it'll play your screen on four other phones and they can all be watching your screen. So you can do a presentation, you can do a video, hey guys, I gotta show you this video, and it'll put, all, it'll put your video on their screen. So it's pretty innovative. Uh, definitely, uh, I know I keep saying that, but these are just things that no one else has thought of. So it's pretty impressive. Now that's uh, going to be called Groupcast. Another thing is called DriveLink. DriverLink uh, basically hooks up to the phone, uh, basically hooks your phone to uh, newer cars. So if you have like a Ford or um, Chevy or anything like that that has uh, the built-in dash, it will actually send your phone screen on that built-in dash. So it's pretty cool because you can actually see all your phone calls and everything like that on the dash. So, nice bigger screen. has things like S-Health, which uh, just make it really easy for you to keep up with your health. Uh, input all your data from blood pressure, weight, height, you know, age, everything like that. And you'll get articles on uh, things for your condition or uh, the latest news just on uh, your health that it thinks you would want to know. You have 50 gigs of free storage space from Dropbox and it is valid for two years before any cost which since most of us have a two-year contract that's just perfect because you'll have the two years with the phone and 50 gigs of free storage it's really impressive uh... the best thing since uh... google drive and if you haven't seen the video on google drive i definitely recommend you check it out now the camera the camera is really nice because it has a eight megapixel back lum illumination camera now i don't want to get into too technical specs with it but basically it uh, makes your darker pictures brighter. That's just the easiest way to put it. I know the technical specs. I just think that's the easiest way to put it for you guys. It has zero shutter lag, so it has the fastest shutter out there. Uh, again, I've just taken pictures of my Galaxy Nexus and it beats everyone hands down. Uh, burst mode. It can actually take 3.3 shots per second. So really, really extremely fast burst mode. Now, going into further into burst mode, you have something called Best Shot. 
Best Shot's really nice because it takes eight photos in a row continuously and then chooses the best one for you. So you can be having someone do an action and just choose the best video. Now you also have things uh, like video stabilization. So if you're having the club taking a video, you don't have to worry about uh, it being steady and having to lie that you were drunk because it does uh, video stabilization for you. It also has things like social tag. Social tag is pretty cool because if you have a picture with a group and you have that person on your Facebook, it'll actually take you right to their, um, it'll actually have a menu so it can take you right to their profile. Say like, you know what, I wonder how he's doing. And it'll take you right to their profile or you can call them, email them or anything like that right on your social, uh, right just because you have them on your social network. Now my favorite thing though is called uh, Buddy Photo Share. Buddy photo share allows you to take a picture of someone, say in a group, you're out with your friends, take a picture all together, and immediately it'll ask you, do you want to share this with the uh, with the faces in your photo? So it'll basically have a square over their face, and it'll ask you if you want to email this to the person, or text message this to the person. Just really making sharing photos between friends better than ever, and easier than anyone ever has yet. Now accessories going over really quickly, wireless charging kit which allows you to wireless the charge device just by putting it down and charging it. It has a all share uh, cast dongle. So what that means is basically uh, it connects to your TV and makes any TV a smart TV. And you can uh, do mirroring with this so everything that is on your phone you can see on your TV or uh, you can just uh, transfer data over to it. So it's really cool and it be, can be used with any um, Samsung device it seems like uh, or possibly any Android device in general. It does have other things like a flip cover which uh, looks really nice, very sleek, keeping a slim profile. And a S Pebble MP3 player which basically is just made to control your Samsung Galaxy S3. Other than that, uh, just some extras uh, but mainly the launch date. The launch date is May 29th in Europe and in the USA it will be launched in June but no word yet on what carriers and who's going to go to and when but it will be June. So if you guys have any other questions definitely feel free to ask and please subscribe. I'll go over everything uh, when it comes out with the S3 and definitely I want to thank you guys for always watching videos. This has been R-I-C-K-Y, the Android Guy.